Hello friends, in this video, I am Dr. Kuldeep Mahadikar going to present uh, the short version of the poem. Already the poem is very short, but still the from the interpretation point of view, I will just present before you my analysis uh, of the poem. Stay calm by Grenville Kleiser. Grenville Kleiser has written this poem. The Canadian born author Grenville Kleiser wrote a number of inspirational books and guides to public speaking and personality development. Among his titles were Inspiration and Ideals, Christ, The Master Speaker, How to Succeed in Life, and Taking God into Partnership. During the Great Depression of the 1930s, he sent out checks for one dollar each, enclosed with a note reading to aid business. In this poem, Kleiser counsels readers to keep calm in the face of the many big and small upsets of life, stating that a tranquil temperament is the most potent weapon one can have against adversity. So stay calm. This uh, philosophical poem composed by Grenville, uh, Grenville Kleiser, the speaker of the poem tells how to remain calm while facing many challenges in life. The poem consists of three stanzas and each stanza contains eight lines. Poem opens when the speaker suggests valuable habitat for those who are unable to remain calm in the different situation. When we are angry at someone, then we are unable to control our anger without thinking clearly or saying bad things to others or may insult them. Later, we regret our strange behavior, feel insulted, find it difficult to forget our mistake. On such situations, one needs to maintain a mental balance, peace and try to curb resentment in that time. It helps to get tranquility to mind and stop I will thoughts which enter our mind. If we are able to control our mind, then we handle any difficult situation and make solution without delay. The second stanza of the poem explains that it is very easy to become angry when some, someone defraud us or defies your order. If our wishes are denied by others, then we become irritated and disappointed in such situations. We need to understand that our wishes in life are not possible to complete by others, means nobody can complete your wishes. It will have to complete by you and you are only responsible for complete your wishes alone, nobody else. The speaker again tells us that we must learn to keep strict silence though we are right because we want to win a worthwhile battle in life to overcome selfishness and spite. Speaker explained that we need to keep our mental balance when opposed by foe. Foe means enemy. Enemy or uh, we can say not only enemy but our rival in the competition. So, we should keep our mental balance in this competition of the world. If someone disagrees with you, then you feel insulted. You may tell bad words to others and hurt them. At that time, you feel relaxed, but you already damage your relationship with others. Your enemy becomes very happy. So, he is happy. Don't think that uh, by your anger, he will improve himself or he will do something for you. Don't think so. He will, re he will be happy with your anger because you are disturbed and by seeing that you are disturbed, he will be more happy and makes traps for you so you can easily make such mistakes. You need to master to control our mind, emotions and restrict thoughts from entering our mind. If you win our anger, if you control our anger, if we keep our mental calm and balance, it is the most significant thing in our life. The most important thing 
to remain calm calm down yourself if you are excited if you are aggressive if there is some hatred if there is some humiliation from other side maybe from your friend also maybe from your enemy also maybe from your competitor in the world but you should always win over your anger in every situation my friends throughout the poem the entire poem the uh, speaker he gives advice to the reader not only reader but to the students also and to the entire world if they are able to control their mind their mental balance then the approach becomes more positive the approach becomes more sanguine in this onerous situation in this difficult situation if we are able to manage our aggression if we are able to control our anger then i will have feelings we will have feelings in your mind that we easily avoid dangerous situations in front of us in life the poem here gives us a very effective message a very significant message to all the students and as this poem is prescribed for you therefore i am referring to the students only that who are the readers of this poem of course for me that we need to remain calm to keep keep our mental balance to uh, to keep our anger away from us so that we uh, when, when there is a chaos in your life when there is a disturbance in your life when there is a problem in your life when you face difficulty in your life in every situation the one thing is needed and that thing will make you very calm and quiet and cool and also it will lead you to a very successful and very healthy life uh, that is to stay calm which is the message given by the poet granville pleasure so friends on this note i end this video i am dr kuldeep mawadikar again and again i am telling my name to you because because you should try to understand the message going going uh, to uh, reach you through this poem and to this analytic analytical lines of the poem before you so thank you for silently listening listening my video please like share and subscribe my channel <laughs>